Over the past decade, grassroots ecofeminist movements have gained momentum as women globally voice their concerns and resist a value system they perceive as jeopardizing the earth and the well-being of future generations. Notable examples include the Chipko movement in India, the Kenyan Green Belt movement, and women leading protests against uranium mining in Australia and Canada. From the Pacific to Native American territories, women advocate against nuclear testing's environmental devastation. Worldwide, they mobilize against toxic dumping, waste incineration, excessive pesticide use, and unsustainable mass production and consumption. Despite its tangible impact, ecofeminism faces criticism and neglect from both feminists and environmental philosophers. Some view it as promoting a return to Earth Mother ideologies, perpetuating women's oppression. Others dismiss it as a collection of seemingly contradictory ideas. However, in Val Plumwood's Feminism and the Mastery of Nature, a comprehensive academic analysis challenges these misconceptions, presenting ecofeminism as a valuable philosophy. Ecofeminism is often misunderstood and undervalued, given its youth and ongoing evolution. Plumwood's work, for the first time, provides a well-crafted argument for ecofeminism's significance, dispelling common misconceptions. Ecofeminist perspectives, rooted in examining the women-nature relationship, offer a paradigm extending beyond gender and environmental issues. Plumwood contends that ecofeminism reveals the interconnected mechanisms perpetuating oppression across gender, class, race, and the natural world. In contrast to social feminism, which seeks gender equality without challenging cultural values, ecofeminism exposes how Western culture upholds an inequitable system favoring men, culture, and mind over women, nature, and the body. This biased system manifests through historical shifts from goddess cultures to patriarchal religions, the denigration of magic to the rise of science the elevation of reason over bodily experience, and the colonization of foreign lands, leading to today's ecological crisis. A central theme underscored by Plumwood in ecofeminism, is the prevalence of an unequal and dualistic perspective, serving as the foundation for various apparent oppressions within Western culture. In Feminism and the Mastery of Nature, she meticulously unravels the mechanisms sustaining this inequality, injustice, and suffering. The book exposes the polarized worldview that compartmentalizes life, separating mind from body, culture from nature, and spirituality from sexuality. These dualisms create a hierarchy where one pole is valued and affirmed, while the other is devalued and relegated to a realm controlled by the dominant sphere. Consequently, the body serves the mind, women support men, and the earth provides resources for cultural development. Moreover, Plumwood highlights the denial of the dependence of valued aspects on the devalued ones. Only recently has Western culture begun to acknowledge human dependency on the earth, driven by the recognition of ecological crises. Ecofeminism, as Plumwood illustrates, draws from ecological language to propose that solutions to contemporary crises lie in restoring a sense of connectedness and relationship with the earth and our bodies. Some ecofeminists use the metaphor of a web to depict interconnectedness, emphasizing our place in nature, rather than apart from it. Ecofeminist perspectives are permeating mainstream culture, notably in the burgeoning alternative healing movement, and the recognition of the mind-body connection in allopathic medicine. 
there's an increasing awareness of the animal rights movement's arguments for equitable human-non-human -human relationships. Religious institutions in Britain are engaging in debates about the intersection of sex and religious practice, prompting a cultural re-evaluation of the division between sexuality and the sacred. However, instead of presenting a uniform holistic vision, ecofeminism embraces the ecological principle of diversity, asserting the need to acknowledge differences. Nature coexists with culture, mind is interconnected with the body, and men and women differ. Respect for diversity and difference, devoid of value judgments, within a culture of relationship, holds promise for a more equitable future.